Hey guys, my name's Christina. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna show y'all how to make beef stew, gombe ya soup. It's one of my favorite Congolese dishes. I love to make it, um, and I even love to cook it even more. So I'm gonna show y'all how to make it. So stay tuned if you're interested in knowing how to make this recipe. Um, and also like, comment, and subscribe for more recipes later. Um, so right here I am washing the meat. Um, just very simple, just running it under um, lukewarm water, um, rubbing it everywhere. Just make sure you get all that dirt off of it, and yeah. So right here I am adding apple cider vinegar to the meat and I'm going to use it to basically um, kill the bacteria in the meat um, and it also makes the meat more tender. Make sure you shake it before um, you pour it in there because I forgot to do that for a second. Um, and I'm also going to add lemon to it. The acid also does clean meat as well. Um, and then after that I'm just going to swish it around. Um, in the meat um, and mix it with water um, you could also leave it to soak for about 30 minutes um, but I just didn't have time to do that um, so yeah so it's just up to you if you have the time to do so you can just soak it in there for about 30 minutes to an hour um, and then cook your meat or um, you can just swish it around like I'm doing right here um, and then rinse it under the water afterwards so yeah I forgot to add a good substitute for actual lemon would be 100% lemon juice. I just didn't have 100% lemon juice, I had actual lemon. But yeah, either or um, works just fine. So yeah, as you can see, um, all of that dark water is gone. Um, so you wanna make sure you get rid of all that bread um, water um, that's a good indication that it's clean so now I'm rinsing the meat again and I'm gonna add it into my pot and then get ready to start seasoning it so these are all the ingredients that I use along with the vegetables I'm gonna put it in the description below along with the measurements I use for everything So right here I'm adding the sasson or mixed herbs or all-purpose seasoning, whichever you like to call it. Next I'm adding seasoned salt. After that I'm adding nutmeg. So I actually ended up putting a little too much nutmeg in this. I could actually taste it when I ate it. It was still good, but yeah, don't do what I did. <laughs> I'll put, like I said, I'll put the measurements below. Um, unless you like nutmeg, then yeah, put as much as you want. It's not that I don't like it, but I just put too much. <laughs> um, so next, I'm adding paprika. So now I'm adding a pinch of salt. You want to be pretty scarce with the salt because most of these other seasonings have salt already. So be very careful when adding salt. Um, so right here I'm adding my Maggi cubes. I add four of them and I'm also going to add one more when I make the sauce. Um, I cannot be bothered to crush them up. I see people crushing them up and I'm like I don't know how because they're so hard but yeah. I also add Old Bay. I really love Old Bay seasoning, but not that much because again, um, there's already a lot of salt in it because of the other seasonings. Then I crushed up my garlic and ginger. So I used about four clo cloves of garlic and three pieces of ginger. Um, I don't really know what that equates to for the ginger in like tablespoons and teaspoons. I'll figure it out and then I'll put it in the description. Yeah, I don't um, use a knife to cut my ginger. I pound it. My ginger and garlic, I always pound it because it makes it easier to mix it in 
for soups and all of that. Um, you could also use um, like garlic powder or ginger powder. Um, I just prefer like the fresh one. So right here, I'm mixing the seasoning into the meat, just making sure it marinates and all of that. You could leave the meat to sit in the seasoning before you add water like I'm doing here. Um, you could leave it overnight or whatever, but yeah, ain't nobody got time for that because I'd be hungry. So yeah, right here, I'm adding water. Um, just make sure it's just above the meat when you cook it. Then you're gonna leave it to boil for one hour on high heat. And while it's boiling, you can go ahead and start cutting your vegetables. So right here, I'm cutting my onion. I know in the picture, the onion had a little piece taken out because it was used from a dish made like the day before, but use a whole onion. Um, yeah, I just wanted to just get this one out the way. I didn't really feel like cutting another one just for a small piece. You could also add other vegetables like pepper, um, spinach, spring onions. I just didn't have all that. I didn't feel like going out to get it. So yeah, it's up to you. I did end up adding spinach. Um, you'll see it later in the dish. I added chopped spinach. Um, but yeah, I'm just cutting my onion. So you want to make sure you're checking your meat periodically as you're boiling it, just making sure you're mixing it in so all the seasoning can get it around to all the meat and into the sauce and all of that. Um, so yeah, make sure you leave it for 45 minutes, not an hour, because um, you're going to boil it some more later. So you don't want the meat to get too soft. Unless you do like your meat soft, then you can boil it for a little longer. Um, I don't like my meat too soft, nor do I like it too um, strong. So yeah. So um, the 45 minutes are up. So now I am taking the meat out and putting it in a separate bowl. So make sure you wash that bowl that you used to wash the meat in the beginning because you need to use it again or you can use it with a different bowl, it's up to you. So yeah, I'm putting the meat to the side and then um, prepping to make the sauce. So now it is time to make the soup or the sauce, the stew, whatever you call it. So I'm adding about a cup and a half of spinach. This is optional. I just wanted um, greens in the dish. Um, so it's frozen, frozen chopped spinach. You can also use fresh spinach or whatever you prefer. And now I'm adding some more water um, because as you boil the meat, the water does um, go down. So make sure you add more water. I think I added about four cups um, so it can be like actual soup. Now I'm adding about two tablespoons of oil. Um, after that, I add one magic cube and also some more all purpose seasoning. A pinch of salt um, I add in my onion also um, remember to taste your sauce as you're making it um, so you can see if you need to add more seasoning um, if the seasoning is too much you can add more water to like level it out um, right here I'm adding my tomato paste um, so depending on how heavy um, or thick you want your sauce you can add the whole can but I just added about I think between a half or three fourths of the can um, because I just didn't want it to be thick this time. I don't really have a preference um, if it's thick or not so thick. So this one was a little more liquidy. Um, next, I add my celery seed, basil, and oregano um, into the sauce. Um, and now I'm going to put the lid on top and leave it to boil for an hour and just make sure you check it periodically. 
so yeah as you can see right here i think it had been boiling for about 20 minutes so you can see how everything's starting to like mix in yeah so as you watch it boil just check the consistency to see um how thick you want it um make sure you're adding in your seasoning if um, you feel as though it's not enough um after about an hour it should be ready um but again depending on how thick or liquidy you want it you will adjust the time depending on that um so yeah as you can see i added my meat in after an hour uh, make sure you mix it in so the soup was not enough so i actually did end up adding more water um and i added more seasoning to it so that it could level out um you can also i did end up adding a little more tomato paste too because um, i noticed it was a little too liquidy for my liking So yeah, just make sure you're mixing the meat in with the sauce and then you're going to cover it and leave it to boil for 15 minutes. So guys, after 15 minutes, the dish is ready. You can eat it with rice or fufu or whatever you prefer. Um, yeah, like I said, this is my one of my favorite meals. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you want more, just comment below. Like, comment, subscribe. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.